Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with my week nine picks, which I'm sure you've been expecting and sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for. But also, guess what? In addition to that, I'm going to have a good friend of mine, Dave Mazzini, who I've known for over 40 years, is going to be a guest on the show. And he is also going to make his picks for each of the games as we go over the games. And he'll share whatever knowledge he has about the matchups. So uh, welcome to the show, Dave. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Sportsman Z. 40, 40 years, a little uh, rounded up about 10 years, but that's fine. <laughs> so um, I guess we can, uh, well, uh, first of all, I want to mention that last week I was 9-4, and four, and that brings me to 71-47 and 47 on the year, which is just over 60%. So I went over the 60% mark last week. So... That was uh, remind your fans that you didn't pick the upset special, which I predicted on your channel. Bengals over the Titans. Yes, you did indeed take the Bengals over the Titans. Um, nobody saw that coming except maybe you, <laughs> maybe Joe Burrow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, I didn't have one last week. Um, I did have a lock and that came through, but that was uh, you know it involved the Jets, so that's always a lock. Although, you might be surprised this week, but we will start with the Thursday night game, which is the Green Bay Packers at the uh, San Francisco 49ers. And yes, I know what the Packers, um, how I know how bad they looked last year in the playoffs to the 49ers and how the 49ers were running up and down their defense. But I am still going with the Packers on this one. I'm going to take the Packers in this game. I'm not going to call a score. However, Dave is a big fan of calling the score. So, Dave, who do you have? And if you want to pick the score, you can do that too. This is a big revenge game for Rodgers. What? A lot of people may or may not know is the Packers are coming in this game with no running backs because of COVID, I believe, and injuries. Niners are coming in with no receivers because of COVID. If this game even happens, I like the Packers, but I would not be shocked because the Packers have no defense. Would not be shocked if the Niners upset them. So I'm gonna, I'll throw a score, maybe 26-22. Packers, but don't be surprised if the Niners surprise them. Right, and I mean, actually, I'll 100% agree with that. I could definitely see the, the 49ers winning if they can manage to uh, get a, get the running game going, because, I mean, I mean, they've been pulling running backs out of the stands, and they can still run, so that may be oh. uh, still a problem for the Packers. The Packers are going to need to pull some running backs out of the stands for this game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next one we've got is the Giants at the Washington football team. And in this one, I am going to go with the Giants. I think they've been playing better lately. And even against some of the other teams this year that were better teams, they, you know, they look like they were in the game for most of it. Um, the Redskins have had their moments as well, but I just don't see them beating the Giants if they play up to their ability. But uh, what do you think about the game? This is a game that absolutely nobody cares about. <laughs> well, that might well I actually, be. I actually like it. I like how, I, unfortunately, I've seen both these teams play. Um, they're not as bad, actually, as the Dallas Cowboys. But I like the Giants. I don't see a lot of offense in this game. Maybe 17-13, which I may or may not have to score the last time they played, but slight edge to the Giants. I like their defense. Daniel Jones doesn't, you know, turn the ball over three times. I think they win. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm with you on that. So, I mean, not that, not that Washington couldn't win, but I just don't see it. So, uh, the next game we've got is the Texans at the Jaguars. Now, I'm going to let you go first on this one. I'm sure this is probably another one that you're going to say nobody really cares about. Again, again no, one, no one cares outside of Jacksonville, or maybe even outside of Houston. Right. But I just, I'm just looking at one guy, and that's Deshaun Watson. Mm-hmm. And he's the best player on the field, so I'm going to take the Texans. And okay. the Jags, I... I think they're a disaster, and I think the Texans are as well, but I like the, the Texans. I'm not going to pick a score because it doesn't even matter. All right. Well, I am actually going to go with the disaster, and I'm going to say the Jaguars. I'm going to say go with the Jaguars in this. I think that uh, they they played some good ball games earlier in the season, and I think that they can recapture that magic. And Plus, the Texans have been playing terrible, too, so I'm going to go with the Jags there. But as you say, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so the next one we got is the Ravens and the Colts. And in this one, I am begrudgingly going to go with the Ravens. I'm going to take the Ravens in this one, even though the Colts have played uh, pretty good defense this year. And they have, uh, and I think the addition of Rivers has helped their offense a little. But I'm still going to go with the Ravens, take the Ravens in this one on, in my book. I'm, I'm going against your pick and saying the Colts. I like the Colts defense. I like their whole line. I, I'm not a huge Rivers guy. In fact, if he doesn't implode, I think the Colts win. It's a close game, but I don't like how Jackson has been throwing the ball. And I just like the Colts, probably 24-20. All right. All right, well, the next one we have is the Lions at the Vikings. And I'm going to let you go first on this one. Who do you like in this game? I think the Vikings put everything they have to get that win against the Packers. So I'm going to, I'm going to take the Lions again. This is a game that, again, I don't – not a great matchup. I mean, it's a good matchup against two terrible teams. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I think the Lions have gotten a little traction lately, and they're they're playing pretty well. So I like the Lions. Yeah. Um, again, another close game, but if, if they can contain Dalvin Cook, um, you're going to beat the Vikings. That's the recipe right there. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and agree with you, and I'm going to take the Lions too. So I'm going to say go with the Lions in this game over the Vikings. I think that uh, beating the Packers last week was really again just the uh, case of Delvin Cook and being able to run on that terrible uh, Green Bay run defense. But uh, I think the Lions have the potential to win that game, and and probably should. So uh, the next one we have is my Bears playing against the Titans. And in this one, I'm going to stick to my usual MO, which I've only gone against once all year. And I am going to pick the Titans to win the game to set up a no-lose situation for me. <laughs> but also because I really don't think that the Bears are better than the Titans. The uh, the Bears maybe have a better defense, a little better defense than the Titans, but they have a terrible offense. Their offense is just a mess, and that is not the case with the Titans uh, on most weeks. So what's your take on the game? Yeah, the Titans dropped their last two. I can't see them losing three in a row. I guess especially against the Bears. I, I figured when the Bears were five and one, I felt they were a seven and nine team. So I think a loss here puts them at five and four. Their quarterback situation, I don't believe in falls unless you need them in an emergency. Right. And the Titans are just too good. I think they get their heads on straight in this game and they beat the Bears, I think, probably pretty handily. Yeah, that may even be the case. I mean, if, if it's a close game, it'll only be because of the Bears' defense. So, Correct. So the next one we have is the um, Pan 
Panthers at the Chiefs. And for me, this is definitely a no-brainer. I'm going to say go with the Chiefs. They should beat the Panthers. The Panthers are, um, they characterize them as a rebuilding team, but like they're, re they're rebuilding while they're still living in the house and uh, doing a decent job at it. But the, I, the Chiefs are just too much. There's no way that the Chiefs aren't, are, are going to lose to the Panthers. I think they get McCaffrey back, the Chiefs. I mean, uh, excuse me, the Panthers. But it won't matter. So I think Mahomes probably throws three underhanded touchdown passes. I wouldn't be surprised. It's yeah, yeah, I wouldn't either. 38-20 <laughs> maybe. 30, That's the game. 38-20, all right. So uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the Seahawks at the um, – the Seahawks at the Bills. And uh, I'm going to let you go first on this one. This is another game. Like, I don't... If anybody cares about it, they're... They need to get a hobby. But... <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't know enough about the Broncos this year. I, uh, I'm embarrassed about that. I know that we all know who the Falcons are, and they're a team that can't close... Wait, no, you're, you're on a different game. Yeah. You're on a different game. I'm on the Seahawks. Oh, I jumped way ahead, my bad. Yeah, I'm on the Seahawks and the Bills. All right, I got excited about a game nobody cares about. So, <laughs> Seahawks, Bills, uh, I think Russell Wilson versus Josh Allen. That moment's still too big for Josh Allen. Russell Wilson's probably, people might argue, with me, but he's the best quarterback in football now. Yeah. Seattle's defense is terrible, but I think... DK Metcalf, Lockett, Russell Wilson, it's just too much. And I think this game's just too big for Josh Allen. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you, and I am going to say go with the Seahawks in this one. The Seahawks over the Bills. Uh, the Bills are a good team, They've, uh, but, you know, they, I just think it's too much for them to expect them to beat the, uh, the Seahawks. So... Now we have the game that you had alluded to, which is the Falcons and the Broncos. And uh, so, yeah, why don't you go on and finish your analysis of this game? <laughs> yeah, I got it. People really know how I'm feeling now, but it, I, this is a pick -em game. Like, you know, I, I don't know enough about the Broncos, but I'm probably going to lean in their direction. I think Falcons probably have more talent, but... They're, they're a train wreck. I mean, you can't trust them with a 28-point lead. Right. So, I mean, it is, it, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, is it at Atlanta? It is, let me take a look here. Um, it is at Atlanta, yes. I, uh, uh, you know, maybe I'll go with the Falcons. And only, I'm, this is crazy, I'm going to say because they're their kicker. Let's say their kicker, I think he, he kicks four field goals and it's the game winner. All right. Well, I am That's a crazy actually. Idea, but I'm going with it. I am actually going to go with the Broncos. So I was almost ready to agree with you, but then you had to change. But I'm going with the Broncos in this one. I'm going to take the Broncos over the Falcons. So the next one we've got. Um, is I believe a divisional matchup, and that's going to be the Raiders at the Chargers. And in this one, I am going to go. I'm going to go with the Chargers and Herbert. I think he's he's going to um, maybe be a little too much for the Raiders. So my pick is to go with the Chargers. But what do you think? I'm going Raiders. Uh, slight edge. I think. Herbert's playing great, and he, I think he only has one win, but it's I, clearly not his fault. Right. Um, That's true. It, he's played out of his mind for a rookie, and I think a lot of people didn't believe in him, but I like the Raiders' running game. I know the Chargers got a good defense. I think that's the matchup right there. So, slight edge to the Chargers. And, but again, wouldn't be, I mean, uh, Raiders, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Chargers pull this one out. But I'm going to go Raiders for 20. All right. And the next one is the Dolphins at the Cardinals. And uh, I guess Tua last week showed me that he is actually ready to take over for Fitzmagic. So 
Um, he is quite good, or at least he looked good last week. And the Dolphins actually look a lot better than I expected coming into the season. But with all of that having been said, I think the, the Cardinals are the new exciting team. And I'm going to go with the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals are going to beat the Dolphins. I agree. I like the Dolphins. Uh, I love their coach. I only wish that Dallas could hire a coach like Brian Flores, <laughs> but they never will. Um, <laughs> so I do like the Dolphins a lot. I like to, uh, their defense played great against the Rams, but I, I think Kyler Murray's too much. He, the guys, yeah. you know, he can run for 90, and I mean, he shows you what he can do against Dallas, only completing against a shitty defense, but he completed nine passes. And they still won the game. Right. Um, he can beat you with his legs, his arm. So, right. I wouldn't be surprised if the Dolphins keep this close, but I like the I like the Cardinals, especially with them at home. Yeah. All right. So now, um, I don't know. I did not mention to everybody as we came on that you are a Dallas Cowboy fan, and that brings us to a matchup. We have <laughs> we have a matchup of that was the same matchup for several of the Super Bowls that have been played, and that is going to be the Steelers at the Cowboys. And I'm going to let you lead this one off. I mean, I mean we know it's, it's Steelers. It's Steelers is a lock in this game. If they don't win by 19 points, I'd be shocked. The Dallas has no offensive line. They have no quarterback, they have no coaching, they have no general manager, they have an idiot owner, they have no culture, and they have no one who can step up when guys are injured. So that, I mean, that, right there, they're like, a, they're like a, a girl you see in a distance, she's dressed nice, she's got a nice figure, mm -hmm. and as she gets closer, you realize what a horrible mess she is. Mm -hmm. And she's actually hideous. And then actually, she's also really emotionally broken inside. That's mm. the Dallas Cowboys. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> and I want to remind everybody, this is this is coming from a Dallas fan. A uh, fed up fan who, who enjoys watching the Dolphins and the Bengals over this train wreck of a team. Right. I love the Steelers. If Dallas scores, you know, I think Dallas is MVP in this game is Greg Zerline. Again, just like he was last week, you know, maybe they, maybe it's thirty-seven to three. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd be shocked if it. I mean, their whole offense is now gimmick plays. We went, they went from that most, you know, yards per game as an offense with that. Now they if they can, they got to do trick plays just to get the ball down the field, and that doesn't even work. So, right. Well, I mean, obviously, I'm going to agree with you. The Steelers, I'm taking the Steelers. They should win big, just like you said. Um, they, there's, that's your lock. Uh, that's that your is lock. actually, yes, that is my lock of the week. And um, uh, and, and who is the, uh, who's Dallas's quarterback now? Ben DiNucci. Ben DiNucci. Ben DiNucci, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right, but I mean, yeah. The problem is the crypt creep keeper owner upstairs watching right. from afar. The problem is that laundry list that you just went down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I mean, when you know, all those no's leads to no chance. So. Right. I'd see if they if they go three and thirteen. That's a that's a huge victory for them this year. All right, so now the next one we got is a, is a rematch from week one, and that is the Saints at the Buccaneers. Now, if you remember the last time, uh, Brady seemed to still be kind of getting his footing with his new team, and uh, they did lose to the Saints. I think even, I think, uh, did, uh, did Brady throw a pick six in that game? He did. Yeah. So I, I but a couple picks. this time though, I'm going to say go with the Buccaneers. I think now Brady has been acclimated to his new team and the Saints really have not seemed to have improved or gelled any better than they looked on week one. So I'm going to go with the Buccaneers. But what do you think about that? 
to get. I like the Bucks. Their defense, Brady's been playing great, but their defense is going to harass Breeze. Um, you, if you're the Saints, you need to get the ball to Kamara in the air, on the ground. You know, and, again, I don't think Michael Thomas is back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders isn't playing. He's out. So the, the offense is Kamara, and the Bucks' defense is you know, built to take him to the Super Bowl. And then it, let me just look at their offense, too, with Brady and all the weapons he has now. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a, you know, double-digit win by the Bucks. Hmm. But they, they looked like a weird team against the Giants. I don't know what happened. Um, I think they thought that maybe they could walk in and win that game. So maybe that gets them more focused, and I, I won't be surprised if they... Right, you know, well, and this is a divisional matchup, so they've got to take it seriously anyway. All right, so that brings us to the final game of the week, the Monday night game, and this is going to be my upset special. I am going to, I'm going to jump out on the limb, and I am going to say I am going with the Jets. I just have a feeling about this one. I think the Jets are going to beat the Patriots on Monday night. I love that. I was kind of I was leaning towards that because the Patriots are a disaster. It's hard to not. Take Belichick against the Jets. Right. Um, I mean, the Jets can't go 0 and 16. They, I mean, they, I guess they could, but I don't. It's yeah. much of a disaster that, that they are. Um, but Gase versus Belichick, I like it. I like the Jets with a your pick about upset. I think the Patriots figure out somehow figure out a way to win this game. But it's again, I think it's going to be a close game, and it's, it might even be unwatchable. <laughs> Unwatchable. Well, there you go, everybody. You can pick something else to do on Monday night because you got something enough. else to do. Although, you know, you might just want to forget about everything after this week and zone out in a game like that. All right. So that concludes the games that we have for this week. So I want to thank Dave for being on the show. And I want to, hey, you know, let everybody know. Leave a comment below as you're watching the video. Let me know what you think your picks were um, or what your picks were. I mean, you know, obviously, if you have your picks, that's what you think they were. Um, and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed, it doesn't cost you anything. I don't have any commercials. And um, again, want to thank uh, Dave. It was great having you. And uh, we'll have to look forward to having you on the show again sometime in the future. We'll see. We'll have to see how we did this week. Thanks for having me. All right. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.